Demoing your schoolie. Getting the seats out. Okay, this is a brutal job, not much fun. Best with two people, almost impossible with one. Uh, let's talk through the basics. There's a nut going down from the top. There's a bolt on the bottom, so you have to climb underneath the bus for that. Maybe you have someone under the bus holding a open-ended wrench. And on the top, you have some sort of ratchet socket set or another open-ended wrench. Got the small arm on there. I know it looks wimpy, but sometimes when you're in a corner, these are really useful. If that doesn't work, the next thing would be an impact wrench. Just put your head on, on there from your socket set and you might get them out that way. This is gonna be your friend. No matter what age your bus is, there's probably a lot of rust down there under the bus and a lot of dirt, debris, it is a mess and you're gonna have it in your face. So start on the top, day before, just hit all of these bolts with some WD-40, let it soak in, it makes quite a difference. If all that stuff doesn't work, plan three. Using an angle grinder, with a cutting blade and you get under the bus and you actually cut the nut or the bolt and it's dirty it's ugly there's sparks everywhere the other thing you have to be really careful about is when you cut off a nut or a bolt it can fall and they're hot i had one land on my face these zip cut blades are relatively expensive but you go through them you can buy them like by the 10 or by the dozen so i would do that also if you go to a welding place you'll get better quality blades they'll last longer as opposed to going to your local home depot that doesn't necessarily have the premium quality like trades quality if none of those things work the next tool will be a pneumatic chisel hook it up to an air compressor and it'll just work its way through some of these things. Uh, it's kind of a last resort. It works for some of the stuff that is so rusted or bent or twisted that you just can't get them off. Another thing to think about, you can get the bottom of the seat off by just doing a couple of screws from underneath. You can do these from inside the bus and those ones aren't usually rusted. So once you get these off, then you can get into the framework of your seat and it's much easier to get down there with a wrench, an angle grinder, whatever you need to do. Then, Take this and throw it under your bus. It makes it way more comfortable. You can stack a few of them up and then another layer on top so you can get to a comfortable height because there's a lot of area under the bus. So sometimes you're reaching way above your head. Uh, this makes it so much more comfortable. It gives your neck a little bit of support if you're under there for hours. So these are gonna be your best friend. So before you take them to the dump or give them away or whatever, now, getting nuts and bolts off, it depends on the age of your bus, what area it was in. If it comes from like California, Arizona, you're probably not gonna have a lot of rust issues, but I'm up in Canada and all of these nuts and bolts are rusted because of snow and rain and all of that kind of stuff. So they're really brutal to get off. The whole undercarriage of the bus is a mess. So if you get a chance to get under there and maybe pressure wash it first and get a bunch of that debris, dirt, dust, grime out of there, it'll make your work under the bus a lot more enjoyable. This is a slow, long, brutal, ugly job. You're gonna eat a lot of dust and rust but it's the first step of demoing your bus. So you wanna make sure that you do a good job. You'll also get an idea of what the underside of your bus looks like because everything else that you do, that you're gonna be dealing with that, uh, where you're gonna be down there, you're gonna to wanna to know what the status is if there's areas that have rust that need to be cleaned up. Hopefully that'll help you get started to rip out your seats. We have spent hours, my wife and I, and I think we got six seats out, but it's a start and uh, one step closer to getting to the creative side of building your bus. Okay, well, as you can see, we're uh, still pulling these seats out and we've come to a conclusion. No point crawling under the bus and like holding nuts while somebody up here tries to get the bolts done because you eat a lot of dirt. There's a lot of rust. It is disgusting under there and it's slow, really. So what we found instead, if you just get your angle grinder, put a good zip cut blade on it, just address under the top of each bolt we were zipping these ones off in about 30 seconds each bolt and what are, how many bolts are there per seat i think there's six right uh yeah so um we find that if you just zip them off you don't have to go under the bus way quicker there's our dog she's really bored she's really hot um and the other thing is if you damage a zip cut blade if it catches and snags it becomes really lethal and dangerous all of a sudden it's kind of biting and uh, there's a lot more possibility of injury or harm Sorry.
as you can hear it's a never-ending job but uh, we are getting through it there we go we in the last uh, couple of hours we got i don't know how many seats out here like maybe eight or nine uh way quicker than the old method so give that a shot uh, a couple of other quick tips. If you decide you really like the abuse and you want to take them out by getting someone under the bus and someone up top, a couple of things. For number one, try taking out every second seat. Uh, it's hard to get in between the seats anyway, but uh, if you take out every second one, then taking out the remaining ones is a lot easier to get around. And the other thing I'd recommend, make sure you have a good pair of knee pads because you're going to use them a lot. Sometimes it's just brutal and it's hard to get things apart. Uh, you can see Michelle there working on stuff. So Michelle, um, we want to give people one more tip for when you're having a problem getting seats out. What would you say your best tip is? Bob Marley, man. Listen to some Bob Marley. Always works. <laughs>